All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rekakadash, to be honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the Hope for Lek, on the Parachanania, coming back with another video. Hope this video will be edifying. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the topic that I want to be talking about today is trust the process, the or, or the title of this video is trust the process. You know, you got a lot of things on your path, and sometimes you 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 be like, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Things ain't going your way, or um, people just treating you a certain kind of way. It's all part of. It's all for the betterment of yourself. You always gotta look at things positive, man. You know. Oh, it makes you stronger mentally. Oh, it helps you be more patient. You know, you always got to think positive about these things, man, because you might think, you know, or you might think like, hey, this is uh, this is BS, basically. Or, hey, um, why am I going through this? It doesn't it doesn't make sense. It's not beneficial for me. I could I could go to something different instead of this. But the most high knows exactly what you need, man. The most high knows exactly what thing he should put on your path for you to to uh basically become a better version of yourself, man. Be acceptable unto the most high Yabashim Shai. So this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter two and verse one. My son if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right, prepare yourself for temptation, man. You know, because it will come. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, you see? It says constantly. Because this is a constant battle, man. There is no stopping. There's a co constant battle, man. You know, in Ephesians 6, it talks about uh, put, putting on the whole arm of Yabashim Rashai. Why? Because it's a constant battle, man. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know? We, we're fighting against these demons, man. Against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places, you see? It's a spiritual battle. And make sure your spirit gets enough food that it needs, man. By reading the scriptures, keeping yourself in check. Reading these scriptures will keep yourself in check, man. That's that food for your spirit, man. You know, just like your body needs food, right? Or else it becomes weak. Well, the same for your spirit, man. You should be reading the scriptures, man. To keep yourself in check. You know, this. <laughs> hey, man, when I read the scriptures, hey, it cuts, it, it cuts me, man. Like, hey, ah, nah, man, I shouldn't act like this or ah, I shouldn't behave like this. You know, because the scriptures, hey, it's there for a reason, man. You know, it's there for a reason. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Right, stay in this truth, whatever happens to you. Whatever happens to you, whatever tribulation you go through, stay with the Most High Yabashim Yashai because when you do stay with Him, you're going to be increased, man, at your last end. You know, look at the look at the Prophet Job. He had to go through a lot of, a lot of tribulation, man. And eventually what happened? He gained everything back. He lost his children. His body got messed up, you know. His wife also, you see. And eventually he he got he, he got all that back, man. You know his children he got back his cattle his riches he got back. You know, his body was in a, a was was not was uh, in a good good state again good good health. You know, first four, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient. When thou art changed to a lower state, yes, be patient, man. That lower state of, you know, 
go, having to go through something, having to go through some stuff, you know. There's always some new bullshit that comes that that comes up, man. You know, here it is, your car broke down. Okay, you fix your car now. Now this bro breaks down. Gotta keep on paying, you know. Or, hey, man, you name it. You know, be patient. Because these things happen to you for a reason, man. For gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable man in the furnace of adversity, you see. Gold is tried in the fire, man. So you have to go through this stuff. You know, gold is tried in the fire, man. It's going to make you beautiful once you go through it's gonna make your spirit beautiful man once you go through this stuff you know it's gonna be acceptable unto the most high you know i'm gonna jump to the point first eight well actually first seven ye that fear the lord Jehovah, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall Ye that fear the Lord Yahweh, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. You see, your reward ain't going to fail if you just, hey, basically trust the process, man. If you basically just trust the process, your your reward isn't going to fail. You know, so, so like, this is the word trust for, from the atom online online etymology dictionary it says trust reliance on the veracity integrity or other virtues of someone or something religious faith help confidence protection support you see and that's what you should be having towards the most high yahweh bashim yashai man that confidence knowing you you knowing you're gonna be supported you know knowing you you are protected even though you go through all these things you know having faith you know keeping your faith you know trusting in the most high to believe to believe you know reliability trustworthiness trustiness amen confident expectation that's that's what you should that's <laughs> man that's what you should be having towards the most man. you should be confident like hey he got you regardless oh you go through this you go through that you think sometimes you may think like ah man this really hurts. Please, Lord, let it stop. Let this pain stop. Let this tribulation stop. Hey, he got you, man. He got you. The Most High Yabashim Yashai got you, man. The Most High won't give you something that you cannot handle. You know, so this is the word progress also. The, defini the definition of the word progress basically from the title trust the pro progress a uh, going on action of of walking forward a uh, going forward and advance go forward to step walk yeah man so in your daily based life the steps that you gotta take in your life hey it ain't always going to be sweet man you know but you have to keep on pushing, you know, and you have to trust the progress, trust the walk, you know, trust the walk, basically, man, you know, keep on pushing and trust in the Lord, because he di directs your steps. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture also. This Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 6 in all thy ways acknowledge him well actually let me start at verse 2 uh, let me actually start at verse 5 this Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not 
unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thee. That's like, and he shall direct thy paths. You see? The most I got you, man. Don't worry. You know? Don't let the flesh take over. Keep reading these scriptures to keep cutting the flesh as well as these entities that come into your mind saying all kind of bullshit, man. Gotta keep pushing. You know? Gotta keep pushing, man. So this is Romans chapter 9 and verse 20. Nay, but O oh man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Bashim Yashai. Shall the thing form, formed say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? You see, so <laughs> basically, who are you to question the Most High? You know? Is someone that basically is the shoe gonna, gonna ask is is your shoe gonna ask you why you wearing it no you, you your shoe won't ask it well that's the same with the most high man we shouldn't be asking the most high like ah why I, I gotta go through this or why is this happening to me you know why why can't I why can I this why can I that you shouldn't do that man you know you shouldn't do that the most high does things for us that we don't even see man you know he does things for us we don't even see man every day every day man you know so you gotta be grateful man i'm gonna read it one more, one more time nay but oh man who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? You see? So don't question the Most High, man. You know? Don't question the Most High. This Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. You see, so the most high, hey man, the most high, Yabashim Yashai, you cannot compare your, your, your thoughts to his thoughts, man. It's on a way, not a level. You know, the most high is on a way, not a level, man. So, <gasps> so you might think, in your tiny brain, you might think, ah, it's better that I go through this instead of this, that, such and such. Or, for example, why are, why this happening, you know? But the most I knows why, you know? The most I knows why. We cannot question the most high, man. This Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 9. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the pot shred strive with the pot shreds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou or thy work? He had no hands, you see. So basically, once again, man, don't question the most high, man. You know? Don't question the most high. You ain't you ain't gonna ask the most high. Hey, you shouldn't ask the most high hey, like uh, hey, why did why why I gotta why I gotta do this, why I gotta do that, why I gotta go through this, why I gotta go through that. Because he wants so man. If the most high wants you to go through it, you you gonna go through it, man. We shouldn't complain while while doing so. I know it's the flesh, but Gotta keep yourself in check also, man. You know, gotta keep yourself in check also. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou or thy work? He had no hands. You ain't gonna ask, you ain't gonna question the most high. You ain't gonna ask the most high like hey oh, 
basically what 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 are you doing why are you doing this you know hey you, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't say such things man know who you're talking to you know and you should understand like this is is what happens when you in this truth man you know first comes comes the sweet and then comes the bitter man Yeah, I wish I, yeah, I wish I had to go through a lot more, man. You know, yeah, I wish I had to go through a lot more. He left us, he left us a perfect example how up, how to walk upon on, upon the planet Earth, man. This First Thessalonians chapter three and verse three, that no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourself, know that we are appointed thereunto. You see, we are appointed unto these afflictions, man. We have to go through it. You know, it's appointed. You know, let me let me go into the word appointed. You know, because a man. Hey, we gotta, we gotta go through, we gotta go through it, man. Destined, you see? Destined to be God's intent, set, destined, appointed to be made, laid down. You see? It's destined that the, hey, man, the most I set it up this way, you, hey, the most I set it up this way, man. So this first Peter chapter two and verse twenty one. For even here unto where ye called, because Yahweh shy, also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. You see, what I was talking about earlier, man. Yahweh shy left that perfect example unto us. You know how we should live, how we should behave, how we should treat one another. You know. So, um, this first Peter chapter four and verse twelve, beloved, think it's not strange concerning the fairy trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. You see, so we have to go through this, and if you if you go through this, you know. Your desire, your desire, you go glory, man. When when Yahweh Shai receives his glory, well, not Lot receives his glory, but when his glory shall be revealed, basically, then yours also, man, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. You see? So just gotta go through it, man. You know, Yahusha had to go through all that, being spat on, being lied to. You know, hey man, Yahusha, they put false witnesses upon him. He had to, he had to be nailed on a cross. You know, he had to go through all that. And where is he now? He's on the right hand side of his father, Yahweh, man. All things are subject unto unto Yahweh Shai, man, because the Most High Yahweh had made it so, man. That all things are subject unto Yahweh Shai. You know. This First Samuel chapter two and verse seven: The Lord make it poor and make it rich; He bring it low and lift it up. You see, the Most High does these things, man. If you if you if you if you go through something, and hey you low, you in a low period where you have low money for months, things start breaking. You have low money. You know. The Most High does that, man. And in the days that you that you receive a lot of money, you know your salary is good, things work. You know your car works just fine, your house works just fine. You know, the Most High does that too. The Most High does both, man. He just gives you enough that you need, man. You know. 
So this is Job chapter 1 and verse uh, 21. And naked and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, the Lord Jehovah gave, and the Lord Jehovah had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jehovah. In all this Job sinned not, nor charged, charged Jehovah foolishly, you see. So Job received a bunch of bad news in this chapter, right? And what did he do? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't uh, 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 talk bad about uh, the Most High or complain. It says in all this, Job sinned not, nor charged Yahweh foolishly. You see, he didn't say nothing stupid, man. You know. He said, naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the Lord Jehovah. You see, he basically said, hey, the will of the Most High, man, is the will of the Most High. Kahalah Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Barakata Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Barakata Yahweh Barakata Yashai. That's basically what he said, man. After he received all that bad news, he lost his cattle lost his children you know hey man that's that spirit that you should should be having that's why job is such a good chapter man it keeps you in check it it shows you and it also keeps you in check man like how you should how you should behave and also be and also see like hey you could go through a lot worse man the most i can put you through a lot worse man so this Psalms chapter 37 and verse 1. Truly, Yahweh is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had, had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, you see. So... We, hey man, don't, let's not, don't, don't check, don't look at the wicked man. Because why? You're going to mess yourself up, man. If you look like, ah, they are blessed, you know, they are blessed. When, when we going to receive our blessing, you got to be patient, man. I'm a, I'm a jump to first five. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Yeah, man. The heathens really don't, you know. They can do a bunch of faggot shit and be prosperous and stuff like that, man. You know. They can do a lot of lot. <laughs> they can do a lot of stuff, wicked stuff, and be basically uh, 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 prosperous, man. They ain't, they ain't troubled like other men, you know. But we don't gotta don't don't focus on how the wicked is going to perish, man. Let's get this this scripture as a last. This second Ezra chapter nine and verse thirteen. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved whose the world is and for whom the world is created yeah man don't worry about the wicked because they gonna get their end regardless just worry about yourself worry about how the righteous going to be saved man you know so i hope this video was edifying i want to give all praise and honor and glory to y'all bashim yashai bashim rakakadash the one to the elders and apostles of great millstone shalom to the overleg hope this video was edifying and shalom